In a shocking turn of events, Team Penske, a renowned powerhouse in the IndyCar series, faced a humiliating setback as reigning Indianapolis 500 champion Joseph Newgarden was stripped of his victory in the season opening race. The disqualification stemmed from allegations of manipulating the push to pass system a critical component in the competitive landscape of Indy car racing. Accompanying Newgarden in this unfortunate outcome was his teammate Scott McLaughlin, who also faced disqualification despite securing a commendable third-place finish in the race at St. Petersburg, Florida. While another Penske driver, Will Power, managed to escape disqualification, he incurred a penalty of 10 points. The repercussions extended beyond mere disqualification. All three Penske entries were fined a hefty $25,000 each and forfeited all prize money associated with the race. The gravity of the situation was not lost on team owner Roger Penske, who expressed deep disappointment, even going as far as to admit embarrassment over the ordeal. The reverberations of this incident rippled throughout the racing community, with rival team owners expressing disappointment and lamenting the tarnishing of Penske's otherwise illustrious reputation. Chip Ganassi, a notable figure in the sport, voiced his disappointment labeling it as a blemish on Penske's team, organization, and the series as a whole. The unexpected turn of events saw victory snatched from Newgarden and awarded to Pato Award, marking a significant triumph for McLaren's IndyCar team, their first win since 2022. What made this situation even more incredulous was the timing of the discovery of the manipulation. Although the violation occurred during the season opener, it remained undetected until nearly two months later, during Sunday morning's warm-up session in Long Beach, California. IndyCar, demonstrating its commitment to upholding the integrity of the championship, swiftly addressed the issue and implemented new technical inspection procedures to prevent such violations in the future. A review of race data revealed that Team Penske had indeed manipulated the push-to-pass system, enabling their drivers to gain an unfair advantage during starts and restarts. Acknowledging the error, Team Penske president Tim Sindrick attributed the violation to a failure to remove the push-to-pass software following hybrid testing, leading to its inadvertent deployment during the race. Despite McLaughlin's assertion of innocence, citing a brief deployment of push to pass without gaining any advantage, both drivers accepted the penalties imposed by IndyCar. This incident marks the second instance of cheating for Team Penske in the current season, further amplifying the scrutiny surrounding the team's actions. The earlier infraction involving NASCAR driver Joey Logano only serves to underscore the importance of maintaining integrity and adhering to regulations in the highly competitive world of motorsports.